Grand Rising, it's your sister from another Mr. Lovely Fly Shy, and I am back with another one. What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday, glorious Sunday on this beautiful rising. I beat the sun up per usual. This is me and God's time, all right? Me and the divine's time. Um, as I'm sitting here reflecting and just thinking about things, I guess you could say the current cycles, the the energetic shifts, the breakdowns to breakthroughs, and my dealings with the biggest Goliath in my life, which is the narcissist who surround the light beings, who surround the light workers. But yet and still, we are so much more powerful and stronger than them. Which leads me to my next topic. You all, when it comes to narcissistic abuse, it is a no-brainer for me to come on here and teach you all these people's way of thinking, the lack of empathy, remorse, or regard for another the lack of accountability and acknowledgement, the believing of their own lies and disillusionment. It truly does affect the empath, the light worker, the chosen one, the gods and goddesses walking the earth who are here to dismantle this evil, to do away with it. And one of the biggest things the narcissist will do, one of their last futile attempts to stop you is to turn people against you. You see, these people will stop at nothing until they are taken down. And the reason why I speak out against this so heavily and I'm really going to amp it up and I'm really going to bring it to you all because of the fact that these narcissists have tried to silence me. They have tried to bribe me with money and ill intentions, hidden motives, just to try to have something to hang over my head, just to, have, just to try to have something to hold against me. You see, these people do not love us. They do not love themselves. And see, these people are stuck and trapped in this victimhood that they have created for themselves. We all have been through things. We have all been broken. But that is no excuse to go around inadvertently treating other people like shit. It is no excuse to go around raining down and projecting your trauma, your ill will, your pain onto others, those of whom you deem weaker than you. This is what these narcissists do. See, they look at you and I because we're kind, we're loving. You see, we are connected within our heart chakra, within our heart space. We are connected to the divine, to the most high God, Yah of all things. 333 three, three was just in the clock. Baby, we have the Holy Trinity surrounding us and encamping us and enveloping us with a divine protection that cannot be broken. But yet and still, these entities and these individuals love Love coming up against the chosen ones, the smear campaigns, the gossip, the lies. You see, these people feel as though they are doing no wrong, which is why what is coming to them, they will receive no mercy. Because the tactics that they leaned on, the lies that they told, and the people that they were successful at getting to turn away from you, whom, I would like to add, weren't meant for you all anyway. They weren't meant to go with you on your journey and on to your next level and or have a seat at your table with you anyways. If they can ignorantly and mindlessly believe a narcissist who has already been exposed as the abuser, the user, the manipulator and the predator, the offender that they really are. And the fact that you and I speak up, speak about these things, we speak, we speak out against this evil. And these predators don't like it. They want to shun us. 
They feel as though they have the, the, the ability to punish us, not knowing and not realizing that they're only, they're only sinking their own ship. They're only digging the pit deeper and deeper that they will eventually fall in. All because they want to transgress and come up against one of God's chosen vessels. They want to send black magic and spell work on your finances. They want to hope and pray you, you stay in poverty or that you live an impoverished life. Because that is what they are destined for. They don't want to see you all speak and seek the truth. It, it makes them uncomfortable. Oh, it enrages them. You will not see a narcissistic like ever before until you expose a narcissist for evil deeds that they are guilty of, that they have tried to go behind the scenes and hide. Because again, these people do things in the dark. Yes, they throw rocks and hide hands. Yes, they tell lies and smile in your face. They're two-faced, they're manipulative, they're weak. And I'm also hearing, you all need to look at these people's fruits. Look at their fruits, all right? This is the age of Aquarius where all is being exposed heavily at this time. For those of you who are actively going through um, a smear campaign, understand, baby, those who fell for the jargon, those who fell for the lies, guess what? They will reap what they have sown too. They have now sealed their fate with the narcissist. Now their karma is simultaneously attached to one another. But you get out of the way, chosen one. You get out of the way. All right, let this narcissist continue to show their face. Let them continue to do what it is that they are doing behind the scenes, thinking that they are not seen, thinking that they can try to even cloak themselves into thinking like, oh, I didn't do this and I didn't do that, knowing good and damn well they are guilty of it. These people are not about truth. They will never come at you and say, you know what? Yes, I did this. I need some help. I'm sick. They will never come at you like that. And that's why it's our job to continue to expose this truth and shine a light on it. Because they don't want us to do it in the first place. So that should give us that much more reason, fuel. And the get up and go about ourselves to keep on going. To keep on exposing the truth about people. These secrets that they hold on to. That they are willing to go to the death for and about. These people will get narcissistic supply from anyone, anything, chick, child, don't matter. These people are evil. And because you and I are here on this platform and other platforms, exposing their evil deeds at a high and massive rate, they, they want to re re retaliate. They want to take some sort of revenge up against us. Not knowing that the, not knowing that it has been intercepted and blocked way before the thought even left their mind. Because God said at the end of it all, touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And that is when the narcissist sealed their fate. Coming up against the divine chosen one of light, love and supreme healing. All because we have a soul contract, a sacred contract that we must fulfill, a personal divine assignment that we must fulfill. See, we understand our assignment, chosen ones. We know what we are put on this earth to do, and we are getting closer and closer to our breakthrough, which is why these attacks are amping up and getting heavier and more frequent. They want to cause some blockages and some snares. They want us to be stuck in our head and in a, in a mental prison because this is the energy that they awake to and they go to sleep to for those. But for the actually, let me take that back because a lot of these narcissists aren't even sleeping. They're being tormented. These are tormented, sad souls, unevolved, unhealed, sad souls who walk around with a pity party all the time, always got to try to walk off in other people's energies, always have to masquerade and cloak themselves as something that they are not and don't even have the ability to be because they have sealed their fate with their father, Satan, the devil. 
And so they see you and me glowing up, transforming, thriving and striving and still proceeding, continuing to be down for the cause, completing and ending cycles, creating new beginnings and creating generational wealth, um, breaking generational curses and actually creating our own movements. And, and you see, these people are jealous of it. Chosen ones, they're jealous of our spirit. All right, they are jealous of who we are. All right, they are angry that, that, that we have figured them out. You see, nar these narcissists, they, they see, social media is where they, that is like their end all be all, basically. And I say that to say this, this is where they live their fake and phony life. See, the narcissist in my life, when I first met this person, I was like, I was like, oh my God, this person is amazing. Oh boy, that mask slipped the moment I moved in with him and his toxic, dysfunctional, cult-like, incestuous family. And the gag is, baby, the whole, out of the entire time of dealing with this form of abuse, I didn't know what I was going through. I thought I had been losing my mind because of the master gaslighting and, and manipulation tactics that they lean on. I'm telling you, these narcissists, yes, they're smart. They're smart to an extent. But we are always 10 and 20 and 50 and 40 steps ahead of them. They always got to double back and try to reanalyze and, and reconfigure something and reconstruct something. So you and I don't. It's just a given with us. We are who we are, right? And so never mind these um, toxic smear campaigns that may or may not be going on behind your back behind the scenes. Trust, this person is just trying to scramble for a time that has already run out, okay? They are trying to scramble to save face because they are upset that they have been exposed for the disgrace and the evil that they are really about and that, the, that they really walk in and operate in. But they always got to find people like you and me who are positive, kind, empathetic people, highly charismatic, magnetic, spiritually inclined, soulful beings of light, healing. And then they want to try to masquerade in our energy, not knowing that that is a grave mistake as well. These people don't know themselves. They hate themselves more often than not. They have a problem with those of whom brought them into this world. If you were dealing with a narcissistic man, more often than not, he got mommy issues. He's mad at his mama, honey, not you. So that's why he has to go, go off and do these psychopathic activities, hurt, harm women and children, animals, and, and what have you. Same with women. It goes both ways. You know, but I'm just making this video to just kind of raise your, you guys' awareness about this situation. Okay, they, they want to silence us. Keep speaking your truth. Keep speaking your truth. Keep being you. Your authentic, your authentic, transparent you. In the end, all will come out in the wash. The truth always prevails in the end. These people think that they can hide from God. They think they can hide their hand and their evil and dirty deeds from God. Baby. These people ain't hiding from God. They running from God, but God on their tail. God did, <laughs> God is on that coattail. Okay? They can't get this they can't get this Jimmy off their back. I they can't. So, never mind what they have to say. Never mind the lies they tell and never mind who believes them cuz they weren't a part to be a, they weren't meant to be a part of your grand rising anyway. So keep healing, keep exposing the truth. I don't care what levels and how far you all have to take it. The extents of the law when it comes to these people, make reports, document everything because these people are liars. As long as you have documentation, you have recordings, you have voice, whatever, you keep all of that. Because when it comes down to the come down, these people will be exposed for their evil deeds. They will be stopped. 
they will be brought down and justice will be served. But I just kind of wanted to let you all know what you can expect with dealing with these monsters. See, half of them is such cowards, they don't even have the courage to take their own selves out. They know they don't want to be on this earth. They know they ain't got nothing going for themselves. They know that they're not going to amount up to anything. Why? Because they have sealed their fate already. Healing is impossible for these psychopathic, sociopathic, narcissistic Jezebel spirits. They are soulless. These are NPCs who have been taken over a long time ago. Steer clear of these individuals. Again, document, document, document. Record, record, record. If you share children with this person, this is ex extremely important as well. On both sides, whether you're dealing with a narcissistic woman or narcissistic man, it goes both ways. Don't engage, don't react, don't respond, but document, document, document. Because when it all is said and done and when it all comes out in the wash and you walk it in front of a court of law or something of that nature, this person will crack, they will break, they will fold. They will fumble and they will eventually expose and tell on themselves. Never give your power away freely. Do not overexert your energy. Okay? Continue to uplift the kingdom. Continue to expose these evil deeds within the kingdom of the Most High God. So that we can continue to rise and heal, thrive and strive from the evils of life that these people wanted to subject us to. They wanted to bring to our doorstep why because of evil it all boils down to evil they're not you no matter how they try to copy your identity they can't steal or take your destiny baby your will your fate has already been written in the akashic records they're not god though they may have this heavy god complex these people are minuscule they're weak links nobody will listen to them they don't have the courage to get on, get on any platform and actually tell the truth and shame the devil. They won't do that. So in turn, they try to tell lies on you to negatively bring toxic attention to you. They want to be able to control how others view you. You see, they, they figure, okay, I can't break this person. I didn't try it, everything. I can't, I can't maintain or, or um, excuse me, not maintain, but I can't redeem any, any amount of control over this person. So now I'm going to try to control how other low vibrational, narcissistic, soulless entities view this individual as well. Because more often than not, anyone who's very quick without even going to the horse's mouth asking if whether or not something is true or not, anyone who is quick to believe a lie, baby, they are an empty, they are an NPC. Because any real one, any real man or woman would go to the horse's mouth and say, yeah, you know, this, this is being said. All right. Is this true? But they don't have the courage to do that because they want to see you in a negative light. Because you shine so bright and they want to dim your light. But they can't. The more and more they try to come up against you all to hurt you all unjustly, without reason, is the more and more you all will be redeemed and vindicated and risen up right in front of these haters, right in front of these monsters, right in front of these users, abusers, offenders, connivers, shysters. Trust and believe they are being tormented day in and day out for what it is that they have done to you and yours so don't you for a second think that these people have gotten away at this point god is saying i'm letting them think they have gotten away because just in the nick of time and just when they least expect it i'm on my way if you all appreciated this message please be sure to like comment down below as well as share this content with a family member, friend, or loved one who has or is dealing with narcissistic abuse. This is a very, very serious form of abuse. These people are oftentimes sociopaths and or psychopaths. Um, this can be an environmental, social, and or they could have just been very well born this way. A lot of people try to give a pity party about how like a lot of narcissists, they get on social media and talk about how they're the victim, they're this, they're that, or, you know, they were abused and this and that. But it's like, 
I, you know, a lot of us empaths, a lot of us chosen ones, we, we went through horrific forms of abuse in our lives as well, even as little children, but we still did not grow up to inflict that same pain upon another. We grew, we evolved, and we transformed from our pain. These people don't have the ability to do that. Which is why they have to inflict and project that mess onto others. But the more and more they do that, the more and more they curse themselves. It is a very dire and grave mistake to come up against God's chosen people. And these entities are learning and seeing that now. Every attack, every form of spell work and black magic they send your way is immediately intercepted and manifested within a couple of days, Spirit is saying, into their own lives. Stay woke, family. Peace, love, and more life. Ashe.